Hello everyone, we will continue the topic function module and in the previous video we finished with the logic part in the function module. We executed the function module and the function module is working fine. But now customer never never run the function module. Ultimately we need call this function module inside a program. It is a reusable component. It is a reusable component. It is a modularization technique. It is a separate module available. So whenever we want to display that data from order header and order item table, there's no need to write the logic we will always, always call this function module. So now what we will do, we will create a program and in that program, we will call this function module. So I will go to SC38 transaction code. I will give some name to the program. Suppose I am saying ZPRG. Display order details. I will give some title to the program. I'll go for create. I will give some title to the program. To display the order details. I will choose the type as executable program because we will execute the program. Save. I will save it as a local object. We will activate the program. Now, what is the input to the program? Input will be single order number because our function module is accepting a single order number. And you all know whenever you want to give a single input, it is always, always through parameters. So I will go for parameters. I will give some name to the parameter. Suppose I'm saying P underscore O and O type. And the best way to declare a parameter is using data element. We will activate the program. We'll pass the selection text, go to text element selection text. And I will choose this checkbox. We will activate. An order number automatically coming. And from where it is coming? It is coming from data element. Order number is in the data element element itself, data element field label. Now, we will not write the logic here. Logic is already in the function module. We will only, only call the function module inside this program. So how to call the function module? I will go to pattern button. You all know you can call the function module through pattern button. Now I will pass the name of the function module, which we created. This is the function module, which we created. So I will give the name of the function module. I'll put enter. Now again, most, most important point, which is already covered in the previous videos, when we created the function module, P O N O is import and L T final is export. But when we call P O N O is export and L T final is import because from the program we will export so that in the function module it will treat as import. So whatever the input is there, you will pass to the function module. 
uncomment this. We will uncomment. Now, in front of LT final, we will declare our own internal table. Suppose my name of the internal table is LT underscore output. So while returning, it will return the result from left to right. While passing, we are passing from right to left. While returning, it will return from left to right. So LT final will return to LV LT underscore output. Now, what will be the type of LT underscore output? It will be same as that of LT underscore final. Now, LT underscore final is a part of importing here. It means in the function module, it will be the part of exporting. So double click on the function module. Go to export. LT final is of this type. Copy, copy. And declare in your program. Now I will declare data lt underscore output type this particular thing. Now, have you seen? I have not used the word table of. Why I have not used the word table of? Because it is already a table type. Table type. So, either you can use table type or you can use type table of word. You cannot use table word two times. So this is a internal table, internal table type, table type. Now we will declare the work area, work area. So I will write data LWA underscore output type. Now work area is never, never a table. Now my question is, is there any need to create a structure of six column to declare the work area? No, we already have a structure available inside this table type. Firstly, we created the structure only of six column. So we will simply, simply pass this structure. I will copy this structure and I will pass. So this is work area, work area type, structure type, structure type. The only thing is this structure is through SC11 transaction code. So we have the internal table, we have the work area. So our data, our data will return into this LT underscore output internal table. And you all know, Whenever I want to display that data, I want to display that data, which is in this internal table. So how I will display data? I will simply put a loop. LT underscore output into LWA underscore output. For every loop, there is a end loop. And we will simply go for write statement. Write statement must be inside the loop. LWA output. What is first column? Order number. What is second column? Order date. What is third column? Payment mode. Fourth column, currency. Fifth column is order item number. And sixth column is all about item cost. And I put slash so that new row will be in the new line, new record. I'll check the syntax and I will activate the so what is the summary of the video? In this video, 
we call the function module inside the program. We pass the order number and then we are getting the result into LT underscore output internal table. LT output is of same type as that of LT final. Here it is importing. So in the function module, it will be the part of exporting. So we copy the type and we declare the internal table in the program. We have not used the word table because it is already a table type. We declare the work area. For the work area, we have not created the new structure because structure of six column already available. We put a loop on the internal table and we displayed the output using write statement. In the next video, we will fully, fully understand this in the debugging mode. So that's it in this video. Thank you.